guys welcome back to my channel my name is Damala for those of you that are new here if you're not hello hi and welcome back to my very first haul of 2023 so this haul is going to be a combo of Old Polly and this new brand that I'm trying out called Benoit Devoir if I butcher that I'm so sorry brands <laughs> yeah without too much chit chat let's get into the cute items that I got for my first package I'm gonna be starting off with my old poly package this is what it came in I already opened it but yeah very cute so let's get into the cute items that I got so for my very first item, I got their Rumor jumpsuit, which happens to be a high neck open back jumpsuit. You can't really see the open back, but the model is wearing a US size 2 and she is 5'9". I got mine in a US size 4 and I am also 5'9". So a few things that I love about this jumpsuit is that A, that it's definitely tall girl friendly as y'all can see on the model and as y'all can see on me, and this is pre heels. So for all my girlies that love the bottom of their pants and jumpsuit to just like kind of like sit on top of their heels, this is definitely our friend. And I th another thing that I like about it, not that I like about it, I love about it is the fact that it is open back. I love anything that exposes my back, like how like it's not too deep, like hoochie deep, but like it just kind of like sits perfectly and I also like how like it's made out of like premium dual layered fabric which kind of gives like the thickness of the fabric so it's wearable for like winter I really wouldn't recommend to wear this during the summertime just because it's definitely made it like double layered to give it like that thickness so yeah I wouldn't do that to yourself because you will be hot and you will sweat <laughs> the only con I would say this jumpsuit has is that it's extremely true to size um so it's not as stretchy as you one would presume so like if you know for a fact that you are a size four it is going to be a size four like it's not going to be a little bit stretchy so if you're in between sizes i'll definitely advise getting like a size up given that the fact that it is very snug as y'all can see is definitely like tight to my body which i love because i feel like that's what really brings out the shape of the jumpsuit and also the shape of your body so it's not really more of a con but it's more of like a don't be funny get your size your real size <laughs> when it comes to like how i would style it and like where i wear it to i call this jumpsuit sexy chic i feel like it's appropriate for any occasion whether it's casual or upscale it just really depends on like how you want to dress it up and how you're really feeling that day but other than that i think it's definitely cute i would rate this jumpsuit a 10 out of 10. For my next item, I got the Yasmin mini dress, which is called the Empire Waistline mini dress in the color Periwinkle. As y'all can see, the model is wearing a size 2 and I am wearing a size 4. We are both 5'9". So with that, I'm going to get into the cons of the dress. As y'all can see, like the dress is obviously a mini dress, but compared to her and me, the dress just happens to like literally stop at the cuff of my booty. But to be honest, I'm not complaining though because this dress has a purpose and this dress will serve that purpose. So no biggie. And plus, I like anything that exposes my leg anyway, so I'm not really too, too, too sad about that. So who am I to complain? No one, okay? So I'm going to dive into the pros real quick. My favorite thing about this dress is the fact that it comes with padding already. I feel like it gives boob job. And I also feel like most of the dresses should also come with paddings. Just because not every girl has like perky boobs or like a boob job. So it's kind of nice to have like a support without having to do too much on your own part. Especially if you're paying like a certain amount of money. And that's just like my humble opinion though. Another thing that I love about this dress is the color Periwinkle. I feel like Periwinkle is the ultimate girly color. I feel like it just looks good on any skin tone. It's just like the ultimate girl color. Like I love it so much. When it comes to how I style and wear this dress too, I feel like this dress is definitely like the ultimate girly dress. With Valentine coming up, this is definitely like a day night type of dress for your Valentine, your Galentine, or definitely any time. I feel like it's so cute and it's so chic. And like I mentioned, it's super girly. Um, I already have an idea how I kind of want to style it. That's like kind of like what I bought the dress for. Like I mentioned before, this dress has a purpose. I don't give a damn that it's one wrong wash away from being a nightgown. It's so, like I don't care. This dress is just so cute. It's so flirty and it's so girly. So I'll give it a 10 out of 10. 
For my next item, I got the Fallon pants, which happens to be the embellished lace low rise pants in the color ivory. As y'all can see, the model is wearing a US size zero and I am wearing a US size six. She's 5'8, I'm 5'9. But regardless or not, like, you know, the pants is definitely still full length. This is how it looks pre heels, which is kind of good for me, given the fact that it's low rise. So it's not too long, but it's not too short either. So let's get into the pros and cons of this low rise pants. So pros being, um, obviously it's super cute and chic and that it's full length. So my only con is that it's semi see through and I'll definitely have to dry clean only. When it comes to styling and where I wear it to, I feel like these pants are definitely like a statement piece. You can either match the vibe or calm it down. Besides like, you know, the whole see through dilemma, I really feel like these pants are cute, a statement piece. And with that, I also give it a 10 out of 10. For my last item that I got from Opali, I got the Allure top, which is the halter neck ruffle crop top in the color ivory. I kind of like undid the ties already, but as you can see, the model is wearing a size 2 and I am wearing a size 4. I definitely should have gone like a size 2, but I'll make sure to do that next time when I purchase like a halter top. I don't really have much to say about the top, no cons really, actually no cons at all, just all pros. It's definitely true to size. And it's not see-through, so which is also a plus. And I love the string business in the front because I can always adjust it to make sure everything is looking nice and pretty. It's so girly and it's so flirty. When it comes to how I style and wear this top, I feel like this top is so girly and flirty. I feel like it's appropriate for any event, so depending on how you style it. Other than that, I have nothing else to say about this top. This top is so cute and flirty, and I'll give it a 10 out of 10. So that concluded the end of all the items that I purchased from Opali. So for the next part, I am going to be doing all of the items that I got from Manoir Devoir. Still sorry brands, I will get it one day. This is my first time purchasing from them, so let's see how I like them. Let's get into the very first item that I got from Manoir Devoir. I got the black knitted contour jumpsuit in the color black. As y'all can see, the model is wearing a size extra small and she is 5'8". I got it in a medium and I'm 5'9". Let's get into the pros and cons of this jumpsuit. So first I'm going to start with the pros. They weren't lying when they said this is contour. Like the body is giving skinny BBL. Like, yeah. Like they weren't joking when they said contour. Um, not to mention that it also comes with detachable sleeves that have like thumb holes which makes it easier for like the sleeves to stay in your arm and the only con that I have about this jumpsuit is the fact that it's semi see-through but to be honest like that's that won't be too hard to like you know cover up or whatever other than that I really love like this jumpsuit this jumpsuit is like my money maker okay when it comes to how i would style slash wear this jumpsuit i feel like this is definitely like a statement jumpsuit you just can't wear it anywhere like your enemies must be present when you wear this jumpsuit like this jumpsuit is no joke you just can't wake up and just decide to wear this jumpsuit you have to be very calculated like your enemies must be present when you wear this jumpsuit I'm not saying that i have enemies but this jumpsuit has multiple purposes and one of the purpose being to make sure i get my body right and tight every time I'm in the gym I'm just going hard because I know I have an end goal and the end goal is to make my body look like I have a skinny BBL that's the end goal but other than that I love this jumpsuit this jumpsuit is so cute fabric is 10 out of 10 it's definitely breathable which is why I'll give it a 10 out of 10 for my next item, I got this cream knitted um, contour play suit. As y'all can see, the model is wearing an extra small and she's also 5'7". I got it in a medium and I am 5'9", like I keep mentioning. <laughs> but anywho, let's get into the pros and cons of this cream play suit just like the contour jumpsuit this is also like their this is also like the contour play suit like the body gives as y'all can see but the only thing i don't like about this play suit is definitely how see-through it is i feel like i'm definitely gonna have to find something to kind of like make it mesh and like blend in with the actual play suit but other than that like it's made out of like readable fabric it's 
comfortable and it's like super cute and it's like the play suit silhouette another con but it's not really a con is the fact that it's um the length is capri i'm not really like a capri girl but you know what i'm gonna see if i can rock with it if i can't rock with it so there'll be no rocking i would definitely just hike it up to like more of my suitable length but other than that i love the play suit i think it's super cute and chic so when it comes to where i would wear this slash how i would style it i feel like this play suit is fun and flirty appropriate for any cute girls just want to have fun type of night like this is the type of play suit you know like you just like you know you want to go out and just have fun but look good while you're having fun show gets you get or you don't get if you don't get i'm sorry other than it being see-through i would definitely rate this play suit uh 7.5 out of 10 just because you know it's the length is capri and i don't know if that's like my thing yet and also the fact that it's super see-through like like come on like it's too much money for y'all not to have like some type of protection like around like the like private areas like come on like I'm off of being grown and sexy but like come on I'm still a lady okay I'm still a lady at the end of the day so yeah fix that for my next item I got this black high neck um, racer bodysuit in a US size 4 as y'all can see the model is wearing a US size 2 while well, I got the 4 so let's get into the pros and cons of this bodysuit so the pros that I have about this bodysuit besides it being so freaking cute I like how it's true to size because of the bandage material so which makes it snug but like not uncomfortable snug and I also love the high neck um, because I feel like it really brings out my face more I just I'm just obsessed when my face is like standing now because I think my face is perfect but other than that uh, I don't really have a con to this personally like it's just like the most perfect bodysuit ever when it comes to how I style it or where I wear it to if you've been watching me for a while now you know like I have a thing with sets this happens to be a matching set as y'all can see um to be honest I feel like this bodysuit is definitely something you can definitely play around in it come with a matching set makes it easier I want to see how many different type of pairs I can have with the bodysuit before like I wear them match together just kind of like my own thing I feel like it's appropriate for any occasion whether it's casual or not casual it just really depends like you know pretty much like your mood for the day and like you know where you're going i wear this bodysuit a 10 out of 10. for my last and final item that i got from a noir de Bois, i got this black satin panel carpenter boyfriend jeans as y'all can see the model is wearing a u.s size 2 and she is 5'8 i got mine in a u.s size 6 and i am like i mentioned before 5'9 let's get into the pros and cons of this jean um i don't really have any con i know it doesn't look as fitted as on me as it does the model like i mentioned before I have a size thing I'm just going to take it to my grandmother and just like adjust it to my size pros of what I love about this pants is definitely like the right placement of like the satin panels I feel like it's just perfect where they're at that's really it for like both my pros and my cons when it comes to how I'll style it or how I'll wear it to I feel like these jeans are definitely like another statement piece I know it's part of a matching set but like I mentioned before like it's just too easy like come on like come on we need a challenge I definitely can't wait to see like you know how I play with it or what I decide to pair with it I feel like these jeans are just so perfect and I can't wait to adjust it to my actual body other than that I have I have nothing else to say so I rate these jeans a 10 out of 10 Okay guys, so this concludes the end of my whole poly slash manoir de voir haul. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. And also make sure to check out my other hauls if you haven't gone around to it. Or if you're new here and you want to know, like, you know, what's the tea about me, go check this out too, like in my other videos. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see y'all in my next haul. Mwah. Bye!